<laughs> just wanted to do something weird. Welcome back. I have something new to show you this time, as you saw in the thumbnail for the video. We have a boxu. I've been eyeing it for a while, and I said, mm, give it a try since I canceled my Japan great. Uh, I still have Tokyo Treat for now, because uh, it's a different style. This box contains more snacks traditional snacks than candies and things like that so it's interesting it is as you can see a lot a little bit smaller than tokyo tree this could literally fit inside a tokyo tree box if i were to if i had one which i don't <laughs> so it's pretty cool and their booklets are they're about the same size as a tokyo tree one but different in style as you can see this is the Shinshun New Year Culture Guide, number 45. So they've had 45 boxes since they've started. That's interesting. Next month's theme is Love is in the Air and Yummy Snacks We Will Share. Here are our Valentine. Obviously, it's... And then they also give you a little, little card here. And on the back, it says... Thank you for being a festive Baksu member. When you are thinking of ringing in a new year, revelry and fireworks probably come to mind. However, New Year's in Japan is usually not a rowdy affair because it involves spending time with family and visiting temples. It's a time for reflection of the past year and hopeful musings for the next one. New Year also means new beginnings, so stay tuned because we have many new products coming out this year from new premium subscription boxes which i've seen one and it's eighty dollars it's a little expensive uh i got this one because of a rebate i got it for cheap and it, which is pretty good it was like 36 compared to the normal 50. and we've already launched our new curated bundles and boxes that might be the one i'm thinking of it was a, like a lucky luck new year lucky box or something that had little Lucky Cat, which would have been cool. I would like to see things like that in here, in this type of box. Like, other than snacks, just add some extra things. But it also had, like, plates, uh, teacups, and all type of stuff. So, that's pretty interesting. But the interior of the book looks like that. That's basically the thumbnail I use, but I took it from their website. And each of the snacks, as you can see here, come from a different part of Japan. I'm trying to get that glare off there for you. You can see each one of those. So that's pretty neat. So you have this page. Let's learn Japanese. Shin Shinin, New Year. Almost, almost looks like, you, you know what, <laughs> F.U., but it's Fuku. And here are the various snacks that are inside the box. Well, the first sheet, at least. Matcha covered chocolate covered strawberries. As you can see, just from the snacks alone, they're very different than what we normally get in Tokyo Treat. Well, not totally different. I mean, it's like those, uh, where are they at? Those potato chips. I think we've had those before. And then you have like a meet the makers of the, of what they have in the box. So that's pretty cool. There you can actually read about how they make them. And you can actually go over to the website and watch um, videos as well. Ozuni soup. And there's hungry for more. You can scan that QR code there with your phone and it'll take you right to their website. Or you can just click down in the description below. So let's check out what's in this cool box. Now, one of these I will stop, and uh, but I'll wait until midpoint. It's the tea. I'll go make it, and we'll test it out. And there is the interior of the box. 
So that's pretty good. And modern snacks, traditionally inspired. <laughs> so I'll put, see, there's the tea. I'll, I'll read it for now and I'll, I'll go do it a little bit. But it's the matcha gemaicha. I guess that's how you spell that. Does this show on there? Yeah, gen, genmai, genma, genmacha, tea. Uh, let's see. This green tea is delivered in a Baksu exclusive package meant to look like Otoshi, Otoshi, Otoshi Dama. Otashi Dama, the money stuffed red em envelopes received on New Year's. Roasted rice is added to the averted green tea, imparting a nuttiness and comforting depth of flavor. So that's pretty cool. But I'll, I'll wait on that one. And then we have. Is that this one? No. What's nice is they, they give you, with certain ones, multiple snacks so you, you don't just get one of each one it's like these here you get two of them and this is these pretty these ring cakes there's the packaging there we have we have prepared a wonderful ring cake it is more delicious when you eat it with your family i don't think that's makes any difference but <laughs> yokohama caramel cake this ring cake is soaked in caramel sauce, which keeps it soft and sweet. To really amp up the caramel flavor, the same type of paste and powder are used in the batter. And then they give you different things like flavor, veg is it vegetarian or not? And of course it is, it's bread. Uh, common allergens, and also contains none. <laughs> Got a beautiful scent of, of caramel. Mm. Oops, get that little stuck to it. it. won't come off. And there is the ring cake. Break it in half here. Mm. Wow. I mean... It's basically your shortbread type of style cake. But it has a... Hmm, very nice, light caramel flavoring to it. Overlaid by the shortbread style texture and flavoring. Because there's a mixture of both of them together. It's nice and airy. Quite delicate. Excellent stuff. Would be nice to have a bigger cake, though. Now we go to... I'm going to do them in order. Uh, is it this one? Yeah. Got these little packaging. See, these are not a, official things that you can find out in the market, I don't think, because otherwise they would be in a packaging that is something you would get. You know, it would have labeling and all that stuff on it. This little guy... Is the, I guess, Kanjuku? K-A-N-J-Y-U-K-U? Kanjuku? Miyazaki Mango Chocolate. Mangoes from the Miyazaki, ha, <laughs> Atomo uh, Hayao Miyazaki and his great movies, Prefecture are some of the most expensive and tastiest ones on earth. They are incredibly juicy and creamy. Maker Hibiki combines kanjuku or ripe Miyazaki mangoes with chocolate for a crispy fruity delight okay just to make sure I did get the right one yep that's it the funny thing is they don't look like chocolate they look like some type of uh, they look fruity Sure, that's not chocolate. No, wait a minute. Something right here. <laughs> Sorry, I'm reading the wrong thing. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's that's the persimmon. I thought they didn't look right. Which one is? Is it these? No, it's that one. 
Oh, I see. I see. Wait a minute. I read the wrong thing here. Where are those? They should have been quite visible here, but unless it's no, that's that one. There we go. I got it. It was unfortunately, oddly, they only gave one. Yeah, they only gave one of them. It was such a, such a tiny little thing. You would think they would have two of them. Uh, that one I, I just, the one I held up is coming next. It's a little odd that they would give you two ring cakes, but something this tiny, you only give one. With these, this mango thing, they, they did give me two. Oh! Reverse what I just said. I did find another one. <laughs> it was hidden below the chips. So that's good. At least they they do. And there it is. Wow. That's got a beautiful mango scent. Mmm. But it's it almost looks like a crispy in a way. But it does let's see what it's milk, wheat, and soy. Sweet, of course. Uh, doesn't say what else is in it because it really looks it has it makes me think it has it uh, little rice nodules in it as you can see because that's not your normal chocolate huh. quite thick hmm I think there is rice in there it's got to be because it reminds me of like a Nestle Crunch Bar's rice that are in it. Wow. That's that's really nice. And you have these slight tang of the mango. And I guess that's white chocolate that's mixed into it. I'm guessing. And then you have the clear crunch of what has to be rice. Hmm, that would be wonderful as a huge, as, as a nice long bar, you know, a thick bar, normal size, instead of just this tiny little sample. Ooh, that, that's excellent. More! <laughs> now we go to the mango, which, the mango mochi, not, not mango, persimmon mochi, sorry. This little guy here. Squish, squish. And this one is, as I said, the sweet and squishy mochi is flavored with hoshigaki. I guess H O S H I G A K I. Hoshigaki? Or dried persimmon. The fruit that tastes like honey and cinnamon. Okay. I love this the squishiness of it. <laughs> wow. Mm. Mm. I like mochi when it's flavored. That's the only time it's good. When it's just normal mochi and it has nothing in it, it's just like goo. But that that's really pleasant. Really, really nice. Uh I've, I've actually never eaten a persimmon in my entire life. My mom, my grandmother in California used to have persimmon trees in the yard, but I just was never interested in them. So that's the first time I've had one. And that's, that's delectable. Uh, very, has a very mild sweetness to it mixed with the, the mochi. Uh, I wouldn't say it's gummy. It's more, well, I guess it's like a soft gummy. Um, it's a rice paste. So, mixing those two together, it gives a... And then it's got a very light coating of sugar on the outside, powdered sugar. So, those all combine and make it a very pleasant uh, treat. If I were to see those in Japan now, I would immediately go, oh, I want some of those. I want a bag of those. 
So that's that's excellent. Now we go to this one, which I had picked up. You can see there's nothing to show what it is other than it's from Kyoto. This is the butter cowrie custard. Oh, um, I can see what's confusing about this layout is that you would think like this description would go to this one, but it's actually going to the one at the bottom. So I'm re I was re I keep reading them the wrong way. So this this one is the Kana Kanako Azuki Crunch. Uh, B H is <laughs> B dash H. Specially freeze dried Azuka beans peppered throughout this snack give just a little extra sweetness to elevate the combination of Kanoko, roasted or soybean powder, and crushed cornflakes. Ooh. Hmm. Okay. They look almost identical to that chocolate. That's odd. They're just a little bit wider. I mean, look at that. It's almost the same thing. Right. Hmm. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. Hmm. I know the flavor. Hmm. Excuse me. Getting my teeth here. Um, it tastes almost identical without the chalk, the chocolate exterior, but, mm, excuse me, but it tastes just like a, whatchamacallit, if you ever have one of those chocolate bars from around here, which I highly recommend, they're excellent, but if you have a whatchamacallit, take the chocolate off the exterior, the interior tastes just like this, just like those little guys right there, I mean, has this nice, nuttiness to them uh i'm not sure about that kanoko uh it could that could be the flavor i'm get getting but it's more of a a nutty uh maybe it is that flavor but the the peanutty type of flavoring to it and then there's almost like a maybe it's the crushed cornflakes and i'm tasting it could be that. that, and that might be the flavoring. But there's also, it kind of has a white chocolate mixed into it in, in a way, because uh, I'm not sure if it has chocolate, but it really has that that that, that what you call it chocolate bar flavoring to it. It's really nice. I like that. So. Um, let's see here. Oh, let's go back to this one here, which is the one I was about to read. What does that say? Gâteau de Voyage. Pat Patissier Francos. It's hard to read. It's so dang tiny. It's a little tiny gold writing on it, which you can't even see. Butter calorie custard financier <laughs> shown in gold. Delicious proprietary custard cream and Japanese cultured butter pair beautifully with shown in gold, which is a fragrant, juicy, and moderately acidic citrus found only in the Kanagawa prefecture. That's a mouthful of words. <laughs> Try to read that one three times fast. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> okay. It's like a little little cake. That's pretty cool. Smells like uh actually it's got smells like lemon. Yeah, it's a it's a lemon cake. Hmm. Yeah. It's like a lemon pound cake. Mm, wow, that's delicious. But it's very similar to what we have around here. Um, same style of like the lemon pound cakes we have around here. The same consistency of the thickness of it and the, the lemon quality that's mixed into it. So there's not much of a difference. 
I mean, it's still good, but at least I can get a similar style of product in that zone. T. Sweet tea. Um, let's see. Now we have. Yep, that's them. These guys. Which are the matcha covered. I keep saying matcha covered. Matcha, matcha chocolate covered strawberries. Freeze dried strawberries are dipped in chocolate that is made with stone ground. Stone ground uji matcha for the. Perfect combination of sweet, bitter, and slightly sour flavors. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> All right. It's time for Mr. Razorblade. Mr. Razorblade. Well, there they are. It almost has like a heart type shape. Doesn't really. I mean, there is a slight sweet scent. I guess that's the chocolate. Hmm. Ah, ah. Oh. Hmm. Well. That's some thick matcha chocolate. Very tasty. I like that. So the matcha is noticeable, but it's more of a white chocolate. And then you have that freeze dried strawberry in the center, which is it's got a good tang. Mm. It's not sour. I should get in your teeth though. You gotta swirl around to get it out. But that's, those are good. Would be. That'd be nice. You only get three of them though. It would be nice if you get a whole bag. That's the good thing about them. The Tokyo Treat box being bigger, she can add more to it. You know, with this little tiny thing, you only get samples. All right. Next we have uh, this here. Which is the Doruma Sinbei Rice Crackers, which are traditional. You know, I mean, we get them in Tokyo Treat all the time. These cute Sinbei are shaped like little Daruma, traditional Japanese dolls, symbolizing good luck, with eight different flavors like matcha, oh, well, that's different, matcha, nori, seaweed, and black sesame. You're sure to love them all, of course. Can't go wrong with uh, rice crackers. Feels like, yeah, there's a tray inside. I can get my fingers. There we go. I always try to open it like that so I can seal it back. Ooh. Quite a scent in there. I mean, it smells like rice, but it's also, uh, it's like cooked rice. Are you sure? One of them right there. Nice one. Nice salty flavor into them. There's the sesame seed one. I'm guessing. There's that pink one I just saw. I'm guessing that might be seaweed. It's got this like pink, pink layering, uh, granules all over it. Woo! That's a little tart. Wow. There's more than, more than just seaweed. Substance. More than matcha nori and black seaweed. Uh, black sea, black sesame. It's like this one. What is that? That's interesting. There's two. Wait. Pull this tray out. There's the. Oh, look at that. That's pretty neat. <laughs> but, uh, I thought I saw. There's. 
Here's the matcha. That's the matcha one. But what's the, I wonder what the uh, pink one is. There's two sesame seeds. No. Yeah, here's a different one. Look at that. I don't want to eat them all right now. Hmm. I don't know. It's a very unusual. Each one, the, all of them that are in here are different. There's a... Uh, so there's the nori. There's the seaweed. I mean, that's pretty obvious with the green flakes in it. But all these different flavors. Wow. I wonder what... That would have been nice to put in the book in here, what all the different styles there are in the bag. Not not just list three, because that's not all that's available on it. Hmm. Interesting. I think they're basically like the ones you can buy at the Asian food markets up here in, in, in my local city of Augusta. Because I know you can buy different, you can buy big bags of senbei, you know, and, and they all look different but i've never seen one like this though that has all the different usually they're just differently colored not different, not sesame seed and nori and black sesame and whatever the heck the other ones are uh, matcha i've never seen matcha one before. okay now we go to so this one yep Did we get two of these or just one Unfortunately, we only got one. That's a shame. Huh. This guy here. I mean, you would think two per per small item would have been fine in the box. This is the Tezuki Sama Enpen Caramel Custard. Another caramel one. We created many Baksu exclusives. Enpen, sweet roll filled with bean paste with Honma Enpen. But we outdid ourselves with this one. Honma needs Hokkaido caramel paste into their Shira, Shiraan white bean paste and wraps it in a fluffy bread dough. Okay, so this is an exclusive to the box, as a lot of these things are. This one I'm going to have to use a freezer blade on because this plastic does not want to rip. Putting these fresh bags on here. And there it is. Hmm. The scent is unusual. I don't recognize it. It could be the bean paste. Hmm. It's got a thick layer inside. Wow. I've never been a big fan of red bean paste, or in this case, white bean. I mean, they're, it's okay. It's a little bland. In this case, it's a little chalky, I guess. Mm. Excuse me. But it's, it's a good cake. It's quite thick. Um, the bread itself is condensed. It's not airy, like you would expect. Um, it would be better if it if it was more airy, but uh, I can understand why they went with a more compact bread, less air in it, uh, just to keep that bean paste from uh, spreading out as much during shipping or packing or whatever you want to do with baking it. But it's good. It's good. It wouldn't be something I would immediately gravitate toward if it was in <clears throat> if I was in a store and I saw it on a shelf. Uh, not like the the matcha the matcha chocolate covered strawberries or any of these other items that they have in here. And now we have this little packaging here, which is very unusual. Um that's the top as you can see. This is the Hojicha Tea Warabi Warabi Mochi. Warabi Mochi is a jiggly jelly-like confection made of bracken starch. 
This snack is flavored with hojicha, which is a nutty roasted green tea from Kyoto. To eat, add the packet of kanako roasted soybean powder to the snack and enjoy. Hmm. All right, let's see here. Interesting. There is the green packet. But I'll, I'll do that last. I gotta go make the tea anyway. Uh, we still got a couple, a few more things in here. Do, do, do. Let's see that one. See, this one, we get two. Basically, everything in here, with the exception of that caramel cake, and I think that was all. Well, except for these two big bags here, semi big bag, are, have had duplicates, which is nice. Shame that one did. This is the, as you can see there, Yokohama. Yokohama Butter Sandwich Cookie, which is probably like shortbread. These cookies are a popular gift in Yokohama tourists because each treat has vignettes of the city printed on them. Hmm, that's cool. They're filled with a luscious buttercream that balances the more savory cookies. Mm -hmm. There's the back side. Ooh, you see the Yokohama Bridge. Ooh, neat. Wow, what a scent. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Oh, there's another one on the back. Which way does it go? That way. Baseball game. Ball being hit out of the park. It's got such a really strong buttery scent to it. Hmm. Wow. Hmm. The uh I mean you can taste the butter. But then it's it's like a sugar cookie in a way. Because the middle has a uh, Oreo type of consistency to it, and you can taste a little bit, a little bit of granules, which heck, obviously is sugar. The crackers are, have an airy quality to them. I'm trying to think of something around here that that they can equate to, and I just don't. I'm not coming up with anything other than maybe like. A salting cracker, but without the salt, you know that 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 airiness to them. But it's they're thicker. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> um, that's that's the only thing I can think of. Um, I did have a slight hiccup a minute ago. I had paused the video and then I came back and I had already did a review of these, so I'm going to do them again. <laughs> We have pure potato. These are the sesame oil and salt. They're by Kokia, which is excellent. They always do great stuff. The addition of nutty sesame oil provides lingering roasted and umami notes, giving these chips their unique and one-of-a-kind flavor. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> one of those things is making my throat tingle. But they, these are excellent. They are just like, they look, they have a, definitely have a nuttiness scent to them uh, than your normal potato chip. They really don't even smell like a potato. They have a, a much stronger nut quality to them. And they have a true potato ap appearance. Let me see, get one. It's like, you can see the, they, they clearly been cut straight from potato i mean all the potato chips are but these are they have a fresh look to them i mean they even have you know the little dark spots <clears throat> compared to like lays and taste wise they are excellent excuse me very excellent they have a fresher quality to their flavor 
than that of a Lay's potato chip, which mostly you taste salt worth. With these, it's a, a lighter flavoring of that quality to them. So you're getting more of the nuttiness of the sesame oil. <clears throat> a little bit of the potato and a smattering of the salt. So it's, it's a nice combination of all three. When I did pause, I went and made the the tea, which, darn it, hold on a second, my string has dropped down into the tea here, and I gotta get it out, Here's my razor blade, the little paper item, the, the tag that's usually on the tea bag, it popped off when I was making it, so the string fell into the tea itself. As you can see, it definitely has a strong matcha. I actually dropped some of the tea leaves through the bag onto the bottom there, which is unusual. And it has a very <clears throat> fragrant matcha scent to it. See how strong, how hot it is though, because could, you can see the steam is still coming up, coming off it there. Yeah, still a little hot. Has a, I mean, it's like matcha flavored water. How much are you like a water? <laughs> I can only take tiny little sips because it's it's quite hot. Um, it'd be good, but it. it it just needs a little bit of sugar to, or lemon or honey. Maybe honey would be better to add to it. I might try that with a little layer. I mean, it's okay. It's quite bland. It, it, it needs some sweetener to it, as most teas do, in my opinion. And then there's this concoction <laughs> that gel with the. It seems like that. I mixed in that red bean paste to it, which was just powder seems to have melted itself into the gel now finally Let's see if I can get a little bit of it out I'm not really a fan of this type of mm. Mm. Eh. I can pass it's <clears throat> mochi in that, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> mochi in that style really doesn't appease me that much. I prefer it like that persimmon mochi. Now that's excellent. This, eh, especially when, now it might be better if the red bean paste was, red, red bean powder was a paste. Or, even better, if it was just mixed in with the mochi. That would have been better. That way you have all the flavors all mixed together instead of mixing in powder into a gel. I mean, it's it's so squishy. It's not. It doesn't have any much of a liquid quality to it, so the, the powder has a hard time combining with it. So you're mostly tasting the red bean powder more than the com combination of both. So, yeah, I'll pass. And since I have salt in my mouth from those potato chips, we'll go to this one first. These are the Uburi Gako Okaki. Uburi Gako Okaki, I guess that's how you spell it. Uh, or smoked pickled radish. Hmm. It's a specialty of the Aita Prefecture. The savory, tangy, and woody notes a flavor of this Otaki. Okaki, or a rice cracker made with mochi gom, glutinous, not glut, oh, glut, glutinous, not glutinous. <laughs> These two words are weird. You got glutin, O-U-S, and then you have, but not glue, tin, T-E-N, O-U-S, rice. <laughs> Okay, whatever. Hmm. 
smells like barbecue in a way. <laughs> Real. Wow. That really does smell like pork or barbecue. Little pieces. That's unique. Wow, that's a longer one. And these are radishes? That is delicious. It has a slightly high salt content. Not it's not it's not overpowering, but it's quite noticeable. But it really has you said smoked in here, didn't you? Yeah, it is smoke. Okay, it has the smoked. So it really has a, a smoked barbecue flavoring to it. God, I like th these are fantastic. I, I mean, I like radishes to begin with. Uh, normally, when you you know sliced up, put in a salad or whatever. But as an but in this form, God, I'd love to have a big bag of these suckers. That is amazing. I, I would never. I, I, Smoked pickled radish, and even even hotter that it that it's actually pickled. I don't. The only thing I like in that form is, you know, pickles. <laughs> normal normal pickles, not sweet pickles. I don't know how anybody can eat those things. But that is, that's my probably one of my favorites out of this box. Um, next to the uh, rice crackers, of course. But salt-wise, the potato chips are good. I mean, they're not amazing, but they're they're good. Those right there are so unique; they stand out as the best thing in this whole box. And then we have the last sweet thing: lemon gummies, which are similar to oh, jeez, give me a uh, to what we've had in uh, Tokyo Treat. These are the Ohita Kanjuku Koba. Kobasu gummy. Kobasu is a citrus fruit native to the Oita prefecture. In its unripened state, it's green and quite sour. These tender and chewy gummies used use ripened uh, variety, which is yellow and with a milder acidity and slight yet pleasant sweetness. Okay. So they're not exactly like what we've had. Ooh. Wow. Nice uh, lemon scent. It's not really, really strong, but it's quite noticeable. And they just look like your normal little lemon, lemon drop gummies. Got, hmm, got a gum, uh, a gel interior. Hmm. It's very nice. Of course, hey, I've never had a bad gummy. These, they have a very light sugar coating on the exterior, of course. And uh, the gummy itself is so soft. As soon as you bite into it, it goes right to the center. So you get that gel squirt. Uh, but the lemon taste itself is quite mild. Yeah, I, I have to agree with them. It's has a uh, mild acidity. Yeah, it is, it's not the type of lemon that you would expect to get a, a squint from because it's so sour. It's, it's not like that at all. It's just a very mild, pleasant lemon taste to it. So those are good, but... These radishes, wow, that that's that's hands down the best. Let's see if this matcha is cooled down a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just matcha, matcha tea. It just needs some honey added to it, which I'll try in a little bit. Uh, but that's I think yeah, that's all for this box. I'm quite happy with it. Um. It could use a little bit with the smaller. Some of the items could have been duplicated. So if you have two people in the house, you can share. Uh, 
But uh, other than that, the only other two things I, I got recently from Chavo Men were these. Sour cream and bar spicy barbecue pretz. I've never seen these in either one of the Tokyo Treat or Japan Crate boxes. So I wanted to try them. They're both by Glico and they're good. I'll try the barbecue. I know the sour cream would be good, but I've never had the spicy barbecue before. Mm, there's a scent there, but it's hard to tell. Maybe just a normal little breadstick. Hmm. Not really spicy. Well, no, I take that back. There's a, there's a, mm, yeah. The more you, the more of them you have, the the more you feel it back here. Let me have one more and see how hot it gets. Mm, it's not really. It's not really strong. It's got a nice spicy burn to it, but it's not. A kind that uh, leaves a long, or it leaves a, a strong burn to your tongue. It just has a, a mild back of your tongue area uh, spiciness. That's all. A very, very light burn, if you want to say that way. Uh, but overall, the taste is quite good. And I'm not sure the kind of uh, sauce they use. I mean, it's good. I think, excuse me, the best sauce, in my opinion, is Carrie Hilliard's out of Savannah, Georgia. Their, their sauce is just fantastic. I mean, you can put it on bread and just eat it. <laughs> it's excellent. But I know sour cream pretz would be good, so I don't even have to open those. Cause I like sour cream chips, period. <clears throat> but that's all for Baksu, and I highly recommend them if you want to order one look down in the description below with my other links as well and if you didn't recognize my shirt it's Tron this is the old style I wish I could find it um, again so I can get a brand new one and keep it in excellent condition this is the extremely rare one which I can't find that has the gl this all glows in the dark you can find this norm in a normal style without that feature but uh, not this particular brand. I bought this years ago. You can see it's already starting to have some wear in the the, the ink. So, all right. I'll see you in the next unboxing, which will obviously be Tokyo Treat. And thank you for watching. Take care.